All right, uh, so we are back with more King of Fighters 15 online ranked matches. Uh, and at the time of this recording, it is my birthday right now. And uh, I was playing some online, um, not recorded, um, but I was winning matches. And, I, and I, I promise you that I am winning matches, but when I rec for whatever reason, when I record, I am losing all the matches, basically. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to watch uh, some replays. Uh, in the meantime and just uh show like hey you know i i know a thing or two about a thing or two so right. i'm gonna take out some things here so it's a replay so i'm gonna do more commentary oh no display data no let's just keep that there i guess so yeah um i'm finding myself at least at least playing recently that i'm being more comfortable with antonov uh than i was before and uh, finding like what are my good buttons and what seems to be a good button is my standing B it's a good fo uh, footsie poke uh, jab uh, like a, a crouching jab or crouching A seems to be slower so I'm focusing more on using uh, my standing B and uh, kind of tick throwing it in a sense because it does uh, link up so this Rugal player um, not the most aggressive but I was able to get my my routine in so so kind of like connecting the dots here is that as a way to win these matches is that I'm not is, I'm not supposed to get their rhythm going. And oftentimes when I play these matches, I let them do what they want to do. So I need to stop doing that. And so finding out here that this player is going to do uh, like a show up a with uh, Yuri so I can watch out for those and start doing uh, standing B uh, grabs. So, Yuri player pretty decent. I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering what I can follow up with that once I do the the EX DP. So, not putting the heavy pressure on me, so I'm able to have like some freedom and like comfortability. But like yeah, I mistimed the fireball there. So next up, it's uh, Yuri's uh, older brother Rio. And I'm finding myself, me playing the character is that, or at least when I'm playing with this team, um, you know how Terry's my anchor basically, but I am finding myself more often playing less, less Terry and more so of Antonov and Ryo. So a lot of my matches have been like, with my wins have been like just mainly uh, Antonov and Ryo, which is pretty interesting, you know, interesting to know. So... I guess that can be mean that like I can put any of these characters in any sort of order and like whoever's my anchor I can use like whatever max meter that I have left at the end. So this guy has a Terry player so I'm wondering if he's a decent Terry player or is he just gonna like wilding out you know unga bunga which is kind of he kind of is he's just th starting to throw stuff I'm like okay what else are you gonna do let's do the throw reset the the neutral and I, I do like my uh, like ducking or crouching uh, D, the standing like the crouching sweep, because it comes out pretty fast. And I'm, I'm I'm being aware, yeah, that he does wake up a lot. So try not to just jump in or just dive right in, and then give him the free hit, you know. I don't know if that was by purpose or accident. I feel like that was an accident. Doing a lot of burn knuckles. I think that was an accident as well. I didn't mean to uh, DP like that. And I was trying to go for the Zenretsu can, but that the fireball came out, which is fine. All right, so we have a new team here. So they have a Kula, Vanessa Luong. I'm more familiar with Kula and Vanessa, not so much with Luong. So they're getting their offense in. So I'm a little worried that like okay they're gonna go full ham that I'm not able to do anything. So I get I get I get more defensive in this point because Kula can kind of do whatever she wants while Antonov has a lot of startup. So and I'm and I'm trying to get going, but they um as I'm starting to realize they're more of a keep away player. I, I was playing a lot of keep away players this time around. Again, we're being more cautious. 
So like they could just press buttons to get their their routine going, their their rhythm going. See, uh, they are to find the opening with my tick throw basically. I was trying to do super there, but it didn't happen. They're using their CDs. I'm not. But I did decent damage, even though I didn't get the win on the round. So I set up Rio to do good, unless Kula does a lot of damage this time around. So let's see. So I'm using a lot of uh, a lot of Rio's buttons as much as possible, especially especially to try to get either get into a, like a block. Uh, block combo where they're just lock, kind of locked in and trying to f force an opening but then they're going up against a Vanessa so like yeah they can go in and out like that and they got a good sweep there too so they just need like one touch to get a good combo going and I yeah I don't know if they expected that or they, they just go full ham that I was, I was in the wrong position there, that they were just able to start throwing stuff. There you go. Got a footsie hit there. So I'm starting to... Not, yeah, yeah, I'm starting. I'm trying to get my lockdown going through a CD there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to realize, like, what or think, what is their, what is their equivalent of a uh, Dragon Punch or a DP? Anti-air. But just going in and out is basically the name of their game as a Vanessa player. I, I did a standing B and I was like, oh man, I should have done something there. And I could have won the round. So let's see if I'm in a better position with Terry. But Vanessa has max four bars. I'm going up against close to five bars. Then again, they can go in and out. They could just... See, they could just go wild and out. They could just run, super jump, as long as they get their touch in. Yep. Again, and, and maybe the aim of their game is uh, give me in a block block stun rate, a uh, blunt block stun lock, and uh, you know take my my defense or my block my guard meter out. You know. So now Long is up in the, in the plate, and we're pretty much even. I have max five bars, and I don't know how this Long plays. So I just got to do my thing. CD it right there. Again, not trying to, not trying to get them going, but again, I don't know what they're gonna do too. So I play a little more. I'm more timid this time around. I think I tried to do another CD there. They do a CD to anti-air. I have a hard time conf like uh, quick max confirming the the, the bees. And I, I, I see a hint of auto comboing and he does it again. I was like, okay. We're getting pretty even here. I think I, t I press a button and then boom, that was it. I lost the round. It was even up until the end. Alright, so this is the second round. This is the run back. So, having, having an idea of how they play, now I can kind of adjust. Can you remember about that follow-up? Got the combo in, which is great. Standing forward A with the command normal. Got the grab in as well. Kula has great buttons. So they could just throw it out. Throwing the uppercut there. It's like, ah, man, I gotta do my, I, I, I gotta do my grabs again. Threw a CD in there. Put me in a position, but we flipped sides. Had to throw EX. Trying to throw my uh, standing C, but they crossed up basically. 
Trying to throw snowman at me. Meet them up. Earthquake. There you go. Run up. Run up. Jumping C. Closes it out. Alright, here comes Vanessa. This seems to be like a more of a disadvantage on Antonov. But I'm feeling good. Having an idea how this Vanessa plays. Like, okay, you're throwing, you're starting to throw stuff now. Knows the timing of the grab, so I gotta watch out for that. Nice little jump back I did. I don't know if that was on purpose. Did the EX earthquake there? Tried to do it again. Got me on the sweep. They're back dashing now. I'm trying to do super there too. Yeah, so you got a touch. Able to do a combo. Okay. This did some de decent damage with Antonov though. So I could put Rio again in a better position to be able to get the the round win. We got life back. So let's see what I will do. Jumping D. I love I love connecting Zavrensikin, so I'll like any chance I can and I'm able to do it, I'll do it. Did oh, standing overhead? Didn't expect that. Jumped over my EX fireball there. Kind of so Vanessa's kind of realizing they could just dash in. Yep. Uh huh. Hey, okay, got out of there. Ooh. Oh. Missed opportunity. Do the EX again. Just ran a super jump to connect. But I'm at a uh, lower health, so I'll get some back. But now I'm going up against Luong. Again, not much match match experience with Luong, so I'm thinking maybe I should just, just go forward, you know, without getting, you know, not getting worried about it. Oh, got the uh, back A. I'm surprised about that. Overhead. There you go. Got a little decent combo there. So there you go. Getting some good damage in. Got me there. Ooh. Fireball. Block game now. There you go. Connected. Trying to get do it again. I think I was doing... Yeah, I think I did DP again. But put Terry in a great position there. Okay. I got max... Max, uh, max mode meter. Don't know why I did that. So I'm trying, I'm trying to touch buttons. I'm trying to react. Got me on the corner. Did a lot of damage there. Now we're evened up. So, did a throw. Tick throw. Okay, got me on the sweep there. Ooh, there you go. Ah. Oh. I, I missed my opportunity there. But I got the jumping D, so. Alright, so this is the third round. So I got one. This person got one. So I'm just jumping in now. Being like full on, going more aggressive than. But they adjusted too. They're now they're trying to throw CDs. Okay, I'm getting hit a lot. A lot, a lot. Throw the EX. Punch. <laughs> trying, to, trying to mix it up and trying not to be like formulaic. But I do want to get the throw in. I, like, I, I want to get the throw in. Auto combo. I was like, ugh. Once I start seeing auto combos by, by in purpose, like, okay, I'm losing the respect. They're like, I'm just going to go in now. Got the oh jeez missed the combo or used the wrong button. I was surprised I was able to get the armor hit on that. So I could have won that, but again, better good position for Rio to capitalize. 
Reach for the top. Ready? Go! So. Do any, uh, wake up. Again, they're, one, they're playing the keep away game, so just get some, uh, chip in as much as possible. Do the, the co the fireball. I don't know why I threw the DP there. But Kula didn't do too much damage, so I'm going to get that health back. Now I'm going up against a Vanessa. We're e evened up now. I got more max meter, uh, meter. Standing fireball. Using the, the D again. Standing D. Standing Reds again. I'm missing it. Maybe I should, uh, like, option select it, you know. If it's, if the the standing close D is not not going to connect, then that should do, probably do fireball. They got a touch in. Here comes the combo. Ooh, sliding sweep. I think they were expecting that. That's why they moved in. So now, now I'm behind. Wake up for roll. Let's see what happens. Again, trying to get the touch in. Ugh. I'm surprised I did not get hit. Okay, we got the trade. She got the sweep. Again, better position for Terry. Hopefully, Vanessa doesn't uh, do too much damage t to Terry. Alright, here we go. I don't know why I did that. Okay, got a touch, got a, you get a combo. Seems to be the name of the game for Vanessa. Getting a little, a little comfortable. Tick throw. Get them out of here. But they did like some some damage where like okay a little worrisome but I have max meter so final round okay got the sweep in power dunk I'm starting to do like neutral jump um, when I'm I'm trying to get to hopping I don't do, I don't do enough hopping okay now they're getting going. Let's get out of that, out of the uh, the barrage that they're throwing. CD to anti air. Don, I wasn't supposed to do the, do that. Okay, just run up D. Tick throw. Yep. Yeah, sweep. So I'm catching on now.